We all need a place that gives us sanctuary. I find mine at the studio. Here I perform my ritual, one of moving, sometimes without purpose or direction. In a cycle of resting, curiosity, finding inspiration and exploring, I create shapes, visualize sound, float on memories. I try to defy gravity like a celestial body. I can't control the pace. I have to give in to the flow that determines if I'll be fast or slow and dictates what I need. I can't work against the current. Learning is never linear and there's no shortcut to growth. I had to learn that ego can hurt yourself way more than an injury. It hardens the soul once it gets in the way. And my art is to make things look soft. to create a picture of someone floating around a metal wand, as if I'm flying, shining in the air like a star in the sky. When I start flying around the pole, I seek losing track of time, losing track of the world, to get lost in a new one. where all the characters and stories I carry in my heart find a place to come to life and dance with each other. When they are awakened, I feel the emotions of every character I become and sometimes wonder if at least one of them will ever find understanding or meet someone who speaks their language, someone who sees them, someone who isn't afraid to step into darkness in search of light and sparkle. Someone who knows sadness so well that they celebrate joy.
we are so many. All these characters were meant to fly. All of them forget what they are able to do. So whenever I feel alone, I return to my ritual to get lost in my own world. Where my body elevates from the floors, where I defy gravity and logic. It's where I made a home for myself and knowing that the place I have been looking for so long is something that I carry with me wherever I go as I learn to be my own sanctuary. <laughs>